he just came up with a big shot a big time situation I didn't think it was a shot to get me in a playoff and once again, I'm just trying to hit a hit a golf shot but it was a comfortable number the comfortable number at a comfortable place no less 176 yards the result a birdie three for Philadelphia Cricket's John Brennan on his final hole in the 118th Gap Open Championship at his home course Wednesday. He didn't think at the time it would assure a trophy. Yeah, I mean, once again, like you finish and then like, you, people are texting like, way to post a number and you're like, yeah, I get the 100 is a post, good postable number out there. Brennan entered the day four shots back of 18 hole leader Braden Shattuck of Rolling Green. Like I said, I really thought I was almost too far back to just, I was just trying to get in the house, play some good golf, and yeah, I was happy to do that. Yes, he did. Brennan carded a three under par 67, which included birdies on two of his final three holes. The two-time club champion leaned on course comfort and knowledge as championship pressures mounted. Cricket just gets you ready for major golf. You know, the competition here, the course conditions. I was more so like, I'm ready for this. They can put the tees wherever they want. I've played it before. They can put the pin wherever I want. I've seen that more than likely before. On the aforementioned 18th, Brennan buried an eight footer for birdie to finish at one under. A shot back of Shattuck, who was five groups behind. However, Shattuck bogeyed the 15th and sent his drive out of bounds on the 18th. He tied for second at one over and shared low professional honors with Sunnybrook's Robert Fenton. For Brennan, it's been a decade since his first and only gap major, the Middle Amateur Championship. Winning number two at a place that's number one, priceless. We take a lot of pride in having some good golf at Philly Cricket. To get your name on another trophy at 43 is, yeah, it's, it's really special. It's really cool to do something like that at you know this stage of my career, yeah. For Gap TV, Tony Rajin.